every week in tech, we are just breaking down barriers, creating new innovations. It just keeps on getting wilder and wilder. And this week was no different. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the top news in tech that happened this past week from potentially curing some cancers with AI to now Neuralink testing with actual humans and so much more. All right, before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any tech news or anything really tech related. Stay ahead of the game. Also to leave in the comments anything else that happened that was big this past week in tech. All right, let's get into it. This has been a long time in the making. Musk finally got approval for human trials for his company Neuralink. Now, this approval came from an independent review board that has given him the thumbs up to start beginning recruitment for the first human trial of its brain implant. This is really interesting. So they're going to start with paralysis patients. So anyone who has a cervical spinal cord injury uh, may qualify for the study, but it doesn't share exactly how many participants would be enrolled or anything else really about it. It does say though, it will take about six years to complete. I really am curious about this. It's been in the works for so long and this next step with human trials, I think is gonna be really interesting. Now here's a question for you. Would you, if you could qualify or if you do qualify, participate in this. It does, it does seem really interesting and could help out a lot of people. Curious to get your thoughts on this one. Okay, this next one, he hasn't been in the news for a minute actually, that big of news anyways, but we're all familiar with him, Sam Bankman Freed. And we all know he is the founder of now the collapsed cryptocurrency company FTX. Now he was sent to jail recently uh, for many many of the crimes that he committed, but he's back in the news again, not for the reason you think. This time it's actually with Apple. So there are reports circulating that Apple has paid $5 million for book deals. This is big business. They are now leaning on him uh, to have the rights for this book that is being created on his story. I'm curious to hear though, $5 million to have the rights for this. Are you going to be reading this book? Okay, coming in at number three is Moderna's CEO went on, uh, I'm not really familiar with this before, Semaphore, have you heard of this article or blog channel before? Well, he went on it, did an interview, and he really shared a lot of interesting insights around AI, especially how they will be leaning on artificial intelligence, specifically machine learning, to help them identify uh, cancer cells and create specific treatments for that. Now, let me, let me read you a bit here. So in this interview, the CEO really describes how its machine learning approach to drug development could one day successfully treat cancer. He said, cancer is a disease of the DNA when it mutates. A body's immune system was built to attack these cancer cells. So what they're going to do is after finding which cells have mutated, Moderna can use its algorithm to identify a tumor's genetic mutations to target only cancer cells and not healthy ones. This is pretty interesting. I think we hear a lot in the news of the negativity of AI and how it's going to take over the world and all this really fear mongering stuff. So I really wanted to include this story in this week's news updates around tech because there is so much positive that can come out of artificial intelligence as well. And this is a really good example of just that. All right, someone else who is famous for being in the news. Can you guess who I'm gonna speak about next? If you guessed Elon Musk, you are correct but not shocking that it's gonna be about him. Elon Musk has suggested he needed to keep X in the news and keep it, you know, exciting. And his recent big claims, which I mean, listen, some most of his claims around X have come true, whether we like it or not. His most recent one is that social media platform X will go behind a paywall. Now this is in a conversation he was having with the Israeli prime minister. He said, we are moving to having a small monthly payment for the use of the system. Now this reason or the reason for this is to hopefully counter bots. There is a huge bot problem on X and by putting up this paywall, it is to, the idea behind it is to prevent bots from continuing to grow on X. He goes on to say, a bot costs a fraction of a penny to make, but if somebody even has to pay a few dollars or something, some minor amount, the effective cost to bots is very high. This is interesting and I think it could be one way to mitigate or at least slow down the bot problem on X. Would you still use X though if you had to pay for it? 
All right, on the note of Elon Musk, let's move over to Starlink. So they actually just recently had their finances leaked. And it says in these reports on Wall Street Journal that SpaceX's Starlink made $1.4 billion last year. Now that sounds like an astronomical amount of money because it is. However, what's really interesting about this is that although it is up 222 million in 2021, it is 11 billion 11 billion short of its original projections. So they definitely are very short from what they were aiming for. In other news with Starlink, the 17th liftoff and landing for Falcon 9's first stage uh, occurred actually a few hours ago from when I'm filming this. And with that was 22 Starlink satellites that were deployed from Falcon 9's upper stage 62 minutes after, 62.5 if we wanna be specific, after the launch was planned. This obviously was a successful launch and it actually broke some records. It was SpaceX's 65th orbital mission of the year. Pretty cool. All right, next up on the list is Instacart. And this, I was wondering why this was getting so many headlines at first, but I'm reading here on CNBC actually that Instacart is the first notable venture-backed tech company to hit the US public market since December, 2021. That is quite a while actually. Uh, and so yes, Instacart goes IPO, which is very exciting. They closed up 12% in the NASDAQ after the debut, after first day rally sputters. Now Instacart, for those of you who might not be familiar, I'm sure all of you are, but it was founded in 2012 actually. So yeah, 11 years ago. Wow, I remember first hearing about it. And uh, in early 2021 with consumers stuck at home, this is when it really started to take off. And now it's become really a household name. I'm curious, are you going to be investing in this? Okay, next on the list is, next and last on the list, this is ending with a big one, which is France is apparently halting iPhone 12 sales over radiation levels. So this is reported on the BBC. And uh, yeah, they are saying that France has ordered Apple to stop selling the iPhone 12 because it is emitting too much electromagnetic, electromagnetic radiation. Now, Apple has actually told the BBC that it is contesting this review, saying it had provided the regulator with lab results from the tech giant itself and third parties, which show the device is compliant with all relevant rules. So there is this friction here. We'll see what ends up happening. Regardless if it is within the radiation limits or not, it definitely made me feel weird about putting my iPhone next to my bed while I sleep, like right next to my head. Just having this thought in my head. I mean, it's things you all, you, we know about, but then when you hear that it's something like this might have the potential to be banned from getting sold in certain countries it kind of just makes me feel a little bit weird i don't have the iphone 12 i have the iphone what do i have i think i have the iphone how do i not know what phone i have what does this say about me i have the iphone 14 pro max uh and i love it but still it's very interesting to start thinking about what that looks like and what that really means all right, those are the top biggest things to happen in tech this past week. So you don't have to spend hours reading about it and researching, that is what I am here for. You can watch this in under 10 minutes. Hopefully this is under 10 minutes. You can watch this in quick time and be up to date for what is going on in tech. So you know for when you are speaking with your friends, your colleagues, you are ahead of the game. All right, I will see you all soon. Hit that subscribe button. Bye everyone.